Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This rather windy, but warm, sunny day. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 16. The wages of the righteous is life. The income of the wicked, punishment. Paul the Apostle talks about the wages of sin bringing death. And here Solomon declares the wages of the wise bring life. This sense of life is represented by good things that come into a life. So the well-being factor, all the things we pursue, all the desires we long to give birth to, the good things that go on, whether they be children or ambition or experiences or enterprise, the things that we sow, we reap. And so this sense of having this wisdom in us brings us a wage. And the wage that we get from the wisdom that we both take on and in and then live out brings life. So doing the right thing in the right way for the right reason is going to be good for everyone concerned. And now it opposes that by saying this. But the wages, uh, but the, the wages of the wicked is punishment, or the income of the wicked is punishment. The income of the witches, wicked, wicked is punishment. So it talks about income and wages. And it says that their wages, the wicked, the are punishment and why is that well because the stuff that they are investing in their lives is detrimental to life it doesn't bring life doesn't bring hope doesn't bear good things doesn't enhance humanity it's selfish and foolish and insolent and angry and uh, it just does what is wrong it doesn't do the right thing. And in fact, it can't do the right thing because it doesn't possess within itself the ability to make the right choice because it will act impulsively. And this sense of being impulsive is really the nature that every human being has working in them that's working against the will and the purposes of God, which are to do good and right and proper. So we're at enmity with God. Our enemy in us lives in us and is working against the will, purpose and plans of God. And that's why God needed to send a saviour because we couldn't save ourselves. We were locked up in this kerfuffle of uncertainty. And as a result, we exercise only the things that we possess, which was recklessness. But when God, who is compassion and merciful and kind and generous, came into our lives through the Lord Jesus Christ, the word that sowed in us has grown in us an understanding of how to do the right thing and to say no to the wrong. And as we let that right thing grow, so our lives will bear the righteous fruit of the things that God has said. But if we do not let that righteousness reign in us, then we will continue in the folly of the things that we've known before. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.